Don't you wish you had a printing press? Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club and iKnow.com. Welcome to today's update for Thursday the 13th of December. Hard to believe, but watch tomorrow because we've got something very special coming up. So let's go right to our portfolio as we normally do. Let's take a look at these markets which are really kind of undecided, which they have been for some time, which we've been mentioning on our daily broadcast. S&P 500, 60, 60 for the Dow, 60 for the NASDAQ. These are all trading ranges. So let's go first to the S&P 500. <coughs> Excuse me. You may remember we talked about this market being at the top of the Donchian trade channel. And let's just go and get that. It's a 30 minute chart, but let's take a look at a one of the really neat things with Market Club. We actually have one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 15 and 30 and 60 minute charts. So you can really get a sense of the trend intraday. So let's go to a daily setup. And if we go in just, let's say, the last three months, you can see yesterday's action top of the Donchian trade channel. We mentioned that as a, as a factor. The fact that it's closing down today would confirm that this is a top and we can see a pullback coming in this market, probably back to the 13 and 90 level, which would be a midpoint of the channel, Donchian trade channel. Also, looking at this market, uh, one thing that really stands out to me, oops, let's just close that, is the fact that you've seen prices go this way and you've really seen momentum go this way. This is a divergence, okay? Prices go this way and momentum goes the other way. So that's a negative divergence. Let me just put that on here. That is not a good sign. And of course, today we're down as you can see right now. So I expect this market to come back, retreat back to at least the 1400, possibly the 1390 level in the not too distant future. So let's clear that screen and let's go to our next market. The next market we're going to be looking at is going to be the Dow. And Dow is going to be pretty much the same pattern here. There's sort of a little bit of rounding, uh, not so much of a divergence here, but certainly you're at the top of the channel. And every time we've been to the top of a channel, you see like around here and around here, the market comes back in towards the midpoint of the channel and vice versa. When you go out of the channel, it comes back. You can see how the pattern goes here. <clears throat> so let's go to our next market. That's going to be the NASDAQ. And of course, the NASDAQ, the uh, Apple's down today. So I would imagine we'll see the NASDAQ down. Not a good position for NASDAQ to be right now. Again, you have that negative divergence where we've seen prices go one way like going up trending up and you've seen momentum flat to going lower so this is again this is a negative divergence so i'd expect that we'll see some support around the 2950 level uh, but nonetheless you're going to encounter the psar which is going to accelerate the move on the downside also remember a long-term indicator, our monthly indicator is negative and that's the big what we consider to be the big trend. These are intermediate trends or timing trends. So again, you are just close to the 200 day moving average. If we go below the 200 day moving average, then we've got a real serious problem. Also, you've got the 50 <clears throat> and the 200 day moving averages converging. You can see the line. This is the 50 day and this is the 200. They're very close to turning and making that cross, which is a, not a good thing the death cross and that could give a lot of downside momentum to this market. So I think we have to be very, very careful in the last couple of weeks of December in the equity market. So let's just clear that screen and go to our next market. And we're going to look at crude oil and crude oil has actually had a positive day yesterday. It was under pressure earlier today. It's come back up still lower for the day. Uh, we're down about 0.26%, not much to talk about. It's higher for the week, though. That's the important thing. And it looks as though it's trying to make a base to rally back up to the 89 to 90 level, which is where we mentioned it was the major resistance yesterday, just to right around these levels right here. That's going to be a real problem for this market to get over. If it does go over there, then we can see this market really start to move on the upside. And of course, the Middle East is going to be the key for this market. But right now, you are sort of in a trading range. We use the weekly and the daily on this weekly for trends, daily for timing. And right now, you've got this mixed bag of the 
weekly being down and the daily being up, giving you this neutral, be out of the market right now on crude oil. Moving along to the euro dollar. Now, the euro dollar is amazing, I think, for a lot of people. As bad as the economy is over there, the market's perception is it's even worse here in the U.S. And, of course, we had a rally back up, a strong rally, three-day rally, back up towards the highs. The 31 is obviously a big resistance. If we close over that level, then I think we'll see this market do quite a bit better. But for the mo most part, we're at the top end of the range, and we could see this market just sort of moving into a sort of trading range. You can see there it's just sort of flattened out in the MACD. Not unusual for this time of year for the markets to get very thin and sort of choppy and quiet. So let's move on to the next market, which is gold. And the gold market is basically uh, really in a trading range. We had a down pressure yesterday when Bernanke spoke. Of course, it came right just on the verge of the PSAR right here and back down towards the lower end of the Donchian trade channel. It looks to me like it's trying to flatten out. You've got a mixed bag in terms of the long-term trend is up. The really super long-term trend, the medium and the short-term are down. So it would probably favor on the short side of the market, but it's really, this is a tricky time of year for the equities and the precious metals because the market has become so thin that a small order can actually move the market quite substantially. So let's see how this works out. I would say if we close over 700 today, the high today so far is 702, approximately 70190. If we close over new highs, then I think we've got something uh, we can really, maybe this can be a, 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 a um, doji line, much like this one was. If we close at 700, that would be a doji line. So let's watch this market very carefully today. Moving on to silver. And the silver markets have really been under pressure today, down a lot, as you can see. Uh, the weekly is still positive. Uh, that could change, of course, very quickly. But nonetheless, with the lower end of the Donchian trade channel, it hit a lot of stops, a lot of weak. You're very, very oversold here. Longer term, medium term, positive. So it probably represents a buying opportunity here. The MACD is still on kind of a little bit of a negative roll here. You see you're under the line. But I think if we can turn up here, we may see this market do better. But obviously, not a good day for this market today. So moving to the next markets, copper. This is March copper, 2013. Big down day, a negative engulfing line here. Let me scope that into a little bit closer so you can see that. Uh, let's see, we closed last night at 370.85. We opened today at 370.85. So it's not quite an engulfing line, but close to it. But you've moved below the PSAR, which is the line here. But nonetheless, the trend longer term is still positive. You should be probably out of this market at the moment, given the fact that our daily kicked in. I'll just put this thing in. You can see it kicked in today. It's saying, be on the sidelines and wait for a better opportunity. So that's how the markets are looking to us right now today. I'm Adam Hewison for Market Club. I hope you have a good day. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow because we're going to reveal something I think you'll find both interesting and amusing. But have a great trade, trading day, everyone.